All right, let's talk about Morgan Moses getting traded to the New York Jets. So the Jets get a tackle. That was kind of a big thing. You know, I I remember uh, talking about in my kind of preview for the Jets. I said I didn't want them to go into the draft needing a tackle. Right? They tried that last time, and it seems like it didn't fully. Uh, you know, work, work out as they didn't get the tackle they wanted uh, and ended up, you know, very quickly into that season. Aaron Rodgers got injured. Now, listen, it was four snaps in. You can't blame it on them not getting a tackle, but they want to make sure that that situation doesn't happen again. And, uh, you know, uh, Ravens not getting a lot for Morgan Moses here. Uh, they The uh, Jets get a fourth round pick. The Ravens get a fourth round pick, although the Ravens move up about 20 spots in that. And then the Ravens also get a sixth round selection. So kind of a curious trade. Sometimes these trades do co- go for not a ton of money. Moses, so to clarify who he is, uh, veteran tackle, 33 years old, but has kind of been, I feel like, uh, an analytics darling for a while as he's pretty consistently put up good numbers, but because he kind of maybe, uh, you know, isn't a superstar, seemingly doesn't necessarily get the attention some other guys get, but has consistently been like a quality tackle and is someone who I'm a fan of because I think adding players like Moses is smart uh, football philosophy of, hey, let's just get a guy who we can trust can be a good offensive lineman for us. So for the Ravens, uh, you know, I'm assuming they trust obviously Ronnie Staley and uh, Patrick uh, McCurry. I'm assuming they're just, they feel comfortable with those two guys at the tackle position that they'd rather get some draft capital and save some money by moving off of Moses. But uh, to me, this feels like a pretty massive win for the Jets who, you know, definitely are trying to, uh, you know, uh, protect Aaron Rodgers and make sure to have a good situation, make sure Aaron Rodgers doesn't leave them to go be vice president, right? Uh, so that's something that I think is definitely a smart move to try and you know fix your weakness before you even get into the draft, not having to spend big money and also not having to put a ton of resources into it. Really good move here by the New York Jets, I think. But yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.